I know you want to play Corbin, but I got to make this video for everybody. We're going to be talking about you today. Sit. Stay. Good boy. Break. Good boy. Corbin. Good boy. Good boy. That's enough barking. Good boy. Good boy, Corbin. Good boy. You high five. Good boy. Welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa and today we are going to be talking about the Vishla. If you have ever seen one, you know that they are incredibly beautiful dogs. They just take your breath away. And many times I receive a lot of inquiries about the temperament, the behavior, you know, and is this a good fit for this person or that person? And I can only share my experience with mine, but these are the reasons why I ended up getting my Vishla. Um, so let's get started. If you like this video, please click the subscribe button, leave a comment below. If you have any questions, I will do my utmost to get to them. And if you are open to upcoming videos, click your notifications tab so you won't miss them. All right, number one. The reason why I got my dog was because he was fun loving. He loves to play. He loves to interact. He's very vocal. He talks to me all the time, as you guys saw from the beginning of the video. He loves to be outdoors. He forces me to get out of the house, take long walks. You know, my health has improved quite a bit since I've owned him because he is so high energy. He forces me to get myself out of the house and get some good exercise. So um, he is a, an awesome bud. He's like my little shadow. You know, everywhere I go, I take him. People love him. And, you know, he just, he loves to be outdoors. He loves to be active and he will make you active. So that was the first reason why I got him. The second reason why I got him was because he was easy to train. As you can see in the video clips, um, at the beginning of the video, he's very obedient. These animals are incredibly smart, incredibly smart. They are, they are working dogs. They love tasks. They love to have things to do and they love to learn. I was able to teach my dog how to do those things in the video in maybe five, 10 minute sessions for maybe five sessions and, and he, he understood the, he understood the commands and, and what I expected of him. So, easy to train. Number three, low maintenance. I bathe my dog maybe once every two months. Um, once a month if he gets muddy and sweaty and he smells, but these dogs really don't smell. Um, he does pee on his feet, which is quite annoying. So, I do have to wash his feet. But other than that, uh, yours may not be on its feet. So, you know. Let's hope that he doesn't, or she doesn't. Um, but other than that, they're, they're incredibly low maintenance when it comes to bathing, and he doesn't hardly shed at all. A lint roller, and it's gone. So low maintenance. And number four, they are loving. They are the most loving breed I've ever owned. They want to be they, they, they want to be near you, but they want to be on you. If, if you are on the couch or laying in bed reading a book, they will be either right here or laying their head across your chest or they'll be like on 
on your side or sometimes they'll just be laying on you like a blanket. These are Velcro dogs and they are called Velcro dogs for this reason. They do not like to be separated from their owners. So, um, you know, if, if you're wondering whether or not these things, uh, if this dog might be the dog for you, these are the reasons why I ended up adopting my dog and I have not looked back. I have had four wonderful years with him. He is my little shadow. And if you, if you want to be outside, if you want to be more active, if you're looking for a reason to be more active, this is a good breed for you. If you like, you know, your dog talking to you all the time, this is the breed for you because they are incredibly vocal. And I love that about this breed. You know, they want to communicate with you. They want to please you. So if these things appeal to you, I would highly encourage you to, um, you know, ask me any questions if you have any, um, and you're not still not quite sure, I'll do, my, I'll do my best to answer your questions. I will be making another video on some of the challenges that can come with owning a Vishla, but by far the, the pros outweigh the, uh, the few cons that I've encountered with mine. So um, if you wanna see that video, Click your notifications, subscribe, and leave me a comment below. And I, um, I appreciate you guys stopping by my channel.